Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we are going to do a tumbler. This is a cold drink tumbler. Comes with a top that screws on with a plastic lid. These ones I get at Michael's, but they're definitely available on Amazon as well. And just in terms of prep, I did sand this with uh, some 220 sandpaper and then cleaned it with alcohol to make sure that there's no fingerprints, etc., on it. And so I'm going to fill up my Loli Befe bowl. I'm using today white and black and blue and a green, which are all Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. But I'm also using this awesome bronze from Arteza. So I'm going for kind of a more woodsy look. I'm not going to do as much blue as I normally <laughs> would. Just adding it in there for just kind of a little pop of it but mainly doing the green and the bronze with white and black. And also going pretty light on the black. Okay, so I'm just gonna layer these in here a little bit more. And let's do just a smidge more brown. Okay, so that should be plenty. Now this is a cup turner that I got on Amazon. The link for that will be in the description. If it doesn't ship to your country, I'm sure you can find one on Amazon that does ship to your country. Underneath here is a canvas to catch the runoff. And I'm using a lowly buffet bowl, which the link for that will also be in the description. These are amazing bowls. They're reusable and they're awesome. Okay. So a few questions I've had when doing the turners are, does painting it affect the lid at all? Can you still put the lid back on? Yes, of course you can. Otherwise, I wouldn't keep doing these. <laughs> it would be a little bit silly, wouldn't it? Uh, I just take it real slow. We want to make sure we get the whole thing covered. A lot of bronze. And I want to try to sort of evenly distribute the colors. Don't forget to make sure you get the bottom of the cup. And of course, do a good job getting along the top there. All right, so this obviously, after I'm done pouring all the paint on and I've gotten it nice and covered, um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the canvas and the cup itself I leave on the turner until the paint is pretty much dry, which because it's a round surface, is a lot faster than when it's on a canvas uh, because it's a lot thinner. So it generally dries within a few hours, unless maybe it's like pretty cold where you are or something. Um, but I'm in Los Angeles and it's very hot. I'm gonna just take my finger and just get along the top here because it's pretty hard to pour to cover it. So you can kind of hear the little motor. These things aren't very loud. I have two of them so far and I will definitely be getting more as soon as possible. I'm really liking this color scheme. I don't often do actually like green. I do a lot of turquoise or I'll do blue with yellow, but this is a green that I made up an apple green. It's actually for a future project that I haven't yet gotten to. So, All right, cool. So I'm going to let this sit here. I'm going to touch up any spots that were missed, particularly here on the bottom. I'm going to let it spin for a little while on its own. And any excess dripping. Actually, you know what? The canvas has plenty of paint on it. So I think I should go ahead and do that now because the paint's about to start running off. So I'm gonna just carefully pull that out from underneath. This is a 10 by 10 canvas. I'm gonna move this over here to the side and you can totally do that while your project's wet. No biggie. All right, now sealing the um, tumblers, I highly, highly, highly recommend using resin. Because that way it's washable, it's really durable, it has a nice shine to it. That's what I use. I use Stone Coat Countertops Epoxy. 
and um, I'll put as well a link for that in the description, including a link for um, how I seal this with epoxy. Like I'll just put a link for a previous video I'd done where I sealed it with epoxy. We're not going to do that all in one video today. Okay, there is our canvas. It's pretty awesome. What I like about doing the tumblers on here and putting a canvas underneath is it gives you this kind of rose pattern. You'll see when we do a close up, but lots of kind of like roses. So I'm gonna let these sit here for a while and the cup will keep on moving and we'll come back when the cup is mostly dry and then we'll do a close up on both. All right, so we're back for our close up. This obviously isn't completely dry, but you can kind of see the edges there are dry. So let's start with the painting. I, I'm actually super thrilled with these colors. I think I may have overdone it on the green just a little bit, but that's okay. I am surprised that the bronze didn't come out as much as I thought. Here is our cup, which also primarily green. So right as it is right now is how it will look dry. I mean, you can see the bottom is already dry and also the upper edge there. So really cool. I don't often go like super green. So I'm very, very happy with how this came out. Awesome set. And uh, yeah, the cup will be sealed with resin. Make sure you check down in the description for all the links to everything, and I will see you all next time.